Tinnitus is a ringing in the ears when people come to me wanting help with tinnitus or ringing in the ears. One man used to use a jackhammer because that very loud noise, it damages the fine mechanisms in the ear. So here's this man now in his late 50s and he has this buzzy or ringing in his ears because he's so used to the train. He's so used to the train, he can't even hear it anymore. Does this sound familiar? Do you also hear that constant ringing in your ears? Haven't found any solution and are wondering if there could be one? Well, good news. You're not alone. Millions of people around the world suffer from tinnitus, a condition characterized by persistent ringing, buzzing, or humming in the ears. What if we told you that there are natural remedies that might help ease those symptoms? Based on the insights of Barbara O'Neill, we'll explore seven remedies that tinnitus sufferers swear by. These solutions may not just soothe your symptoms, but could significantly improve your quality of life. What is tinnitus and what causes it? Before we discuss the remedies, it's important to understand tinnitus and what might be causing it. Tinnitus is more than just an annoying sound, it's often a symptom of underlying issues. Barbara O'Neill explains that the causes of tinnitus can vary widely, from sinus blockage to allergies to certain foods. Probably first response when someone has an allergy to these foods is excess mucus in the eustachian tubes. The eustachian tubes are tubes that connect the eyes, the nose, the ears and the mouth. And we have to also look at sinus because sinus is also one of the causes, a sinus congestion is also one of the causes of tinnitus because it's in those tubes. Exposure to loud noises is also a major contributing factor. Consider, for instance, the story of a man who spent years working with a jackhammer. Like many young men in similar professions, he didn't think ear protection was necessary. Now, in his late 50s, he suffers from constant ringing in his ears. One man used to use a jackhammer. And many young men that use jackhammers don't feel they need to wear earmuffs. They do. Because that very loud noise, it damages the fine mechanisms in the ear. So here's this man now in his late 50s and he has this buzzy or ringing in his ears. This is because the loud noise damaged the delicate structures within his ear. Unfortunately, for many people, this damage is irreversible. However, Barbara's approach focuses on managing symptoms and potentially reducing their severity through natural means. Number one, Golden Seal Snuff, a powerful sinus cleaner. One of Barbara's top recommendations for tinnitus sufferers, and we are going to start with it, is the use of Golden Seal Snuff. Golden Seal is a powerful herb known for its antimicrobial properties, making it particularly effective in clearing out sinus blockages, a common cause of tinnitus. Meantime, two or three times a day, sniff the golden seal and it will clean out that whole area because golden seal is anti-staphylococci, it's antifungal, it's antibiotic, it's antimicrobial, antibacterial. So it's a, a very powerful herb. It's a very expensive herb, but you only need such a tiny little bit. You also need to learn the proper way to use the golden seal snuff. You first need to purchase it in the powdered form. Place a small amount of the powder on the base of your thumb and stand in front of a mirror. You need to close one nostril and take a light sniff of the powder into the open nostril. Be sure to repeat the process with the other nostril and do this too, three times daily. You will soon see the magic happening. Golden Seal Snuff works by getting into the sinus areas and clearing them out, which may help reduce the buildup of mucus in the eustachian tubes, tubes that connect the ears, nose, and throat. Barbara highlights that when these tubes are clear, it can significantly reduce the symptoms of tinnitus. Since golden seal snuff is anti-staphylococcal, antifungal, antibiotic, antimicrobial, and antibacterial, it serves as a natural and effective sinus cleanser. Number two, eliminate common allergens. Clear your diet, clear your ears. According to Barbara, another crucial aspect of managing tinnitus is addressing common allergens in your diet. Certain foods can trigger allergic reactions that lead to excess mucus production, which can in turn block the eustachian tubes and lead to tinnitus. Barbara gives us some key allergens to eliminate. 
The first allergen is hybridized wheat. This modern form of wheat is highly allergenic and can cause significant mucus buildup. Similarly, oats, while oats are fine for some, they can be problematic for others, especially those sensitive to gluten or specific proteins in oats. Likewise, dairy products. Dairy is also notoriously mucus forming and can lead to blockage in the eustachian tubes. Like dairy, peanuts can also trigger allergic reactions that result in excessive mucus production. Refined sugar can feed harmful bacteria and fungi, leading to infections that may worsen tinnitus. Barbara also adds alcohol to the list. Particularly in large quantities, it can increase blood pressure and contribute to ear ringing. So it needs to be avoided at all costs. So you could put in here alcohol as well. Barbara then shares a compelling case of a man who was a heavy consumer of dairy, peanuts, sugar, and alcohol. When he eliminated these allergens from his diet, he noticed a significant improvement in his tinnitus. His eustachian tubes became clearer and the ringing in his ears decreased substantially. While the symptoms didn't disappear entirely, the reduction in severity was clearly showing the power of dietary changes. When he stopped these foods, he found that his eustachian tubes became a lot clearer and his tinnitus was not as bad. Number three, nasal breathing exercises. Purify and protect your ears. Barbara also strongly emphasizes the importance of proper breathing techniques, particularly nasal breathing. Many people, especially those with sinus issues, tend to breathe through their mouths. However, nasal breathing is essential for purifying, warming, and humidifying the air before it reaches the lungs. This process helps keep the eustachian tubes clear and can reduce the symptoms of tinnitus. Here are a few tips that can help you practice nasal breathing. Firstly, Focus on breathing through your nose rather than your mouth throughout the day. This is very important. The more you do it, the more results you'll see. When practicing, don't use your abdominal muscles to take deep, slow breaths. If your nose is blocked, use a nasal spray or practice nasal irrigation to help clear the passages. Nasal breathing benefits your respiratory system and significantly impacts your ear health. By ensuring that the air entering your body is clean and properly humidified, you can reduce the likelihood of eustachian tube blockages, which in turn can reduce tinnitus symptoms. Number four, hydration and nutrition, the foundation of ear health. No discussion of natural remedies would be complete without addressing the basics, hydration and nutrition. Barbara tells us that there are far more factors involved in curing tinnitus. She stresses that staying well hydrated and well nourished is a foundational step in managing tinnitus and overall ear health, among many other things. Also vital that the person be well hydrated, that they be well nourished, that they be exercising every day, that they go to bed early, that they make sure their bedroom has clean, pure air coming into it. All of these factors have to be taken into consideration. Here are the key points that you need to consider. Firstly, Drink plenty of water throughout the day to keep your body's systems functioning optimally. Dehydration can thicken mucus, making it harder for the body to clear it out of the eustachian tubes. A balanced diet is also essential. Ensure your diet is rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. These foods provide the necessary vitamins and minerals that support overall ear health. Moreover, omega-3 fatty acids are important in the diet too. Found in fish, flax seeds, and walnuts, they have anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce inflammation in the ears and support overall cardiovascular health. Proper hydration and nutrition are essential for maintaining the health of your hearing system. By keeping your body well-nourished, you provide the necessary building blocks for your body to heal and function correctly, which can make a significant difference in managing tinnitus symptoms. If all of this sounds like too much, don't worry. We can assure you it works if applied correctly, as it has for many of Barbara's patients. And I have found many people to have been able to get their uh, tinnitus very much under control, very much manageable. Everyone I know is managing something, and if you can manage it, you're doing well. Number five, onion compress, a traditional remedy for ear health. Barbara O'Neill also suggests using a traditional remedy, an onion compress, to help reduce tinnitus symptoms. 
Onions have long been used in natural medicine for their anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties, making them a useful tool in treating ear-related issues. Here's how you can make and use an onion compress. The first thing that you need to do is prepare the onion. Steam or dry, bake a whole onion until it is soft. Next, create the compress. Cut the cooked onion in half, wrap it in a thin cloth or piece of gauze, and then apply it to the affected ear, allowing the heat and the onion's properties to penetrate. Then, relax and repeat. You can leave the compress on for about 10, 15 minutes and remove it once it gets cold. The warmth of the compress, combined with the onion's natural properties, can help to reduce inflammation and improve circulation in the ear, potentially easing tinnitus symptoms. While this remedy may seem old-fashioned, many people have found relief using it. Number 6. Ginger, a potent anti-inflammatory for tinnitus. Barbara also recommends ginger for its powerful anti-inflammatory effects. Inflammation is a common contributor to many chronic conditions, including tinnitus. By reducing inflammation, you can help to reduce some of the discomfort associated with tinnitus. Ginger is a very powerful anti-inflammatory herb. And what you want to use is the juice. So there's quite a bit of juice coming out of this frozen ginger. Barbara recommends using ginger in the form of juice. But here are some other ways you can use ginger in your diet. You can brew fresh ginger root in hot water to create a soothing tea. You can also add honey or lemon for flavor. You can also use ginger in cooking. Use fresh ginger, whether in stir fries, soups, or marinades. If fresh ginger isn't your thing, consider taking a ginger supplement. But be sure to consult with a healthcare professional first. Ginger's anti-inflammatory properties can help reduce swelling in the eustachian tubes and improve overall ear health. Regular consumption of ginger, whether in food or as tea, can be a simple and effective way to manage tinnitus symptoms. Number 7. Cayenne Pepper. Boost circulation for better ear health. Barbara O'Neill also highlights the potential benefits of cayenne pepper for those suffering from tinnitus. Cayenne pepper is known for its ability to improve circulation, which can be particularly beneficial for ear health. Good circulation ensures that your ears receive adequate blood flow, delivering essential nutrients and oxygen, while also helping to remove toxins. Cayenne pepper moves blood. It's one of the best circulatory stimulants there is. It's not a nervous system stimulant like your caffeines or your tobacco. It's a blood stimulant. And when you consider that the life of the flesh is in the blood, cayenne pepper is a wonderful healer. And you can put cayenne pepper with any other herb and it'll intensify its action. You can use it in various ways. You can spice up your meals by adding small amounts of cayenne pepper. It's potent, so a little goes a long way. Some people prefer to take cayenne in tea form. Simply add a pinch of cayenne pepper to hot water, mix well, and drink. Just be sure to start with a very small amount, as cayenne can be quite intense. Cayenne pepper may help reduce the symptoms of tinnitus by improving circulation and ensuring that your ears are well nourished and free from harmful toxins. However, due to the pepper's potency, it's important to use this remedy cautiously. The importance of patience and persistence. Barbara O'Neill reminds us that natural remedies often take time to show results. It's important to approach these treatments with patience and persistence. Tinnitus is a complex condition, and while these remedies can help manage symptoms, they are not overnight cures. It may take several weeks or even months to notice significant improvements, especially when it comes to dietary changes and the elimination of allergens. So, first of all, stop the known causes. It can take at least two months before you see a full result after stopping these foods. Even though it might be 24 hours when that slice of bread is out of your body, the effect can remain for sometimes at least two months. Meant Barbara suggests that it can take at least two to three months to see the full effects after eliminating triggering foods from your diet. During this time, it's crucial to maintain consistency with your chosen remedies and to monitor your symptoms closely. Keep in mind that each person's body responds differently, so what works for one person may not work for another. Creating a tinnitus-friendly environment. In addition to these natural remedies, Barbara emphasizes the importance of creating an environment that supports ear health and reduces the risk of tinnitus flare-ups. 
This includes ensuring that your living space is free from allergens, chemicals, and mold, common triggers that can worsen tinnitus. Ensure good ventilation in your home and consider using air purifiers to reduce airborne allergens and toxins. Avoid exposure to loud noises as much as possible. Consider using noise-canceling headphones or earplugs in noisy environments. Also, maintain healthy sleep habits by ensuring your bedroom is cool, quiet, and dark. Poor sleep can exacerbate tinnitus symptoms. You can also try practicing relaxation techniques or deep breathing exercises to manage stress, which can worsen tinnitus. Tinnitus can be a challenging condition to live with, but it doesn't have to control your life. By applying these natural remedies in your daily routine, as recommended by Barbara, you can take proactive steps toward managing your symptoms and improving your quality of life. Remember, the key to success with these remedies lies in consistency and patience. Tinnitus may not disappear overnight, but with time and effort, you may find significant relief. Barbara's insights provide a holistic approach to managing tinnitus, focusing on the root causes rather than just treating the symptoms. By addressing diet, environment, and lifestyle, you can create a foundation for better ear health and overall well-being. Thank you for joining us on this journey today. We hope these insights from Barbara will help you find the relief you've been searching for. If you have any questions or need more information, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos for more health tips and advice. Stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.